So that was a pretty good one. I also liked the part where he was uh, at the, the local tractor supply store. I'm just imagining a guy getting like a Finiplex H f***ing pellet gun and shooting himself <laughs> for his cycle. <laughs> What's up guys, Derek, moreplaytomorrowdates.com. Today we are going to be going over your worst cycle stories, the horror story series of uh, <laughs> hormone use. So I just recorded a video actually recently on uh, worst cycle experiences again, but those were, I ended up recording up to like 15 minutes with just you know an email, a DM, and a Reddit thread um, before I even got to the uh, meat and potatoes of the comment section of the video where I said, uh, drop your comments with your worst cycle horror stories, blah, blah, blah. So this time we're actually in the video and we're gonna go through the comment section together. I'm gonna find, try and find some good ones. So I haven't actually looked at any of these yet. So I don't know, uh, I wanna get my genuine reactions here. So um, uh, let's see, in an alternate universe trend. So here's another <laughs> video about Derek. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Imagine taking Derek. These are the quality memes you've come to expect. Uh, Derek is a next level super physiological PEDs. So this isn't even a cycle story. I'm just, this is, uh, one of the top comments. More trend, more dates reacting to a 14 year old on Derek. I started out taking 500 grams of Derek weekly. Now I am a boulder. Next video, dosage side effects, PCT, 16 week cycle of Derek. When I was 16 and took creatine, my natty card was revoked. 2020 motherfuckers taking 200 tests a week saying they natural because it's DRT. Um, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Dude, some of these. There's like no experiences. My first, my horror first cycle story, I was three years old, just took up my stabilizers off and I fell off my bike. Uh, good one, dude. Okay, let's see, trend saved my life. <laughs> I've been lifting since 13, 14 years old and decided to hop on at 19 or so. I am now 34. My first cycle was something like Deca and Test. I was bloated as fuck and another gym bro noticed. He got me on what I now realize how crazy what? I, he got me on what I now realize how crazy of a combo of Trent and Winstrel. I was lean and strong as all fuck. <laughs> I work in excavation and can out shovel a damn bobcat. Things I lifted back then would wreck me now. Thinking back now, I might have suffered some paranoia about people out to get me. <laughs> I ended up having a bad motorcycle crash at 21 and because of my size at the time, it literally saved my life after breaking my neck. I was wearing no helmet and broke C2, 3, and 7 in my neck. If, if I was smaller, I would have been paralyzed or killed. Wow. I fully recovered and discontinued all these. I still live daily and, and are very thankful to have not kept using it. It also saved my full head of hair, I assume. Wow, dude. Trent saved my life. That's a bold, bold statement. Here's a shitty cycle story. Never knew I was supposed to stack SARMs with tests. And to be clear, I don't have any long-standing side effects because my cycle wasn't even a month. Just got it trying to be bigger without having my diet and training on lock, which is a shitty alternative. It was supposed to be a bulk cycle, and yes, I felt hunger, hungrier, but I was on in March of last year, right before quarantine, so I was still going to school. Even though I was hungrier and had a huge appetite, I was still not eating enough at school and never saw any gains. It really was, it was really just a waste of money. Could have got some nice meals with the bottle of LGD. Back when I was in high school and pro hormones were still a thing, I ran multiple cycles of Methyl Stenbalone at 17 without any PCT or cycle support. During this time, I was addicted to painkillers and took two to eight Percocets a day, which had acetaminophen in them, as well as drinking four plus days a week. Partway through the fourth cycle within eight months of the M Sten, I noticed that my piss started to get really dark and my stomach area would hurt whenever I would do any bent over exercise. I ended up going to rehab for the opiates in the middle of that last cycle. And when I got there, my eyes were yellow because of how fucked my liver was. I remember they sent me to a real hospital to get my liver looked at and was on the brink of liver failure because all the shit I was putting into my body. Really glad I got away from all of that. Haven't touched an opiate in five years now. Fuck dude, that is a hectic one. 17 years old. What's crazy though is I bet a lot of people can maybe not relate fully to the like, you know, actual liver failure borderline, but I mean, having significant side effects and using like super toxic pro hormones back in the day because they were just, you know, handed out like candy to teenagers, like literally the most toxic of toxic substances from the anabolics realm, just handed over the counter, 
like a fucking supplement. Ridiculous. I had a friend take Tren and Tess for the first time ever in conjunction with another while maintaining a shitty diet and drinking every weekend with a small side of Coke. And he literally tried to shoot one of our buddies in the head. Fuck sakes, dude. Uh, what a waste of a cycle. I mean, honestly, LMAO. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that is, um, that's fucking sketch. My cousin ran 500 test E, 200 trend at the age of 19. He got huge but suffered from ED and poor skin quality for almost six months after finishing a cycle, even though he got a, even though he got did a PCT. <laughs> I don't know why they find that funny. Even though he got, did a PCT, which included Novadex and Clomid. He got to 90 kilograms around 12% body fat, and this was also his first cycle. Fuck, man. So 500 tests, 200 trend first cycle. See, what a lot of people don't realize is your skin quality is probably going to be the worst during your post-cycle therapy. Like when your hormones are fluctuating, that is when you're gonna get the worst breakout. So if you mean by poor skin quality, you mean an acne breakout, it's more common when your hormones are crashing than when they are you know, peaked and stable for you to get an acne breakout. So some people always wonder, like why am I not on anything and my acne is like, I'm getting the worst breakout of all time. It's like literally because your hormones have just crashed into the fucking abyss and you're also using you know, a serum or blah, 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 trying to fix it at the same time and things are just wildly out of control. Um, so that's a pretty common outcome to be honest. Um, an ED, you know, obviously a common outcome if you are not uh, modulating your androgen to estrogen ratios correctly and you add in a progestogenic compound at the same time and you have no idea what to expect not uh an, not a very uncommon outcome to be honest took trend extreme back in the day when it was being sold in these supplement stores it was basically an oral version of trend isn't it funny how pretty much everybody's worst experience has to do with some fucking shit sold at a supplement store when they were a teenager Crazy aggression if I didn't eat every two to three hours to the point of sweating and feeling like I was going to pass out. All in all, it, it's either trend or something you bought at fucking GNC. All in all, it ended up with me freaking out at work over nothing and quitting a job of five years on the spot, then bailing on my girl and moving back home to Cali. Shit was super effective, but I now have a little gyno on one side and heart pains. Wish I knew what I know about... Wish I knew what I now know now back then. That's hard to fucking say. My first cycle was 750 Trenny, 750 Testy with up to 50 micrograms, I'm assuming, instead of milligrams, or else you'd be dead for 12 weeks. Glad I didn't, don't have gyno. Only had crazy acne and my body had much trouble with getting on my normal test levels. Took literally seven months and I used a PCC and HCG. That's fucking hectic first cycle. The rich invest their money first into assets instead of purchasing liabilities. Take a wise decision today <laughs> to buy and invest in cryptocurrency. Such a relevant comment. I gained 15 pounds of lean muscle approximately off of 10 milligrams of D-ball a day for six weeks. I didn't pyramid up. Just a consistent 10 milligrams with a serious diet and hard workouts. This is supposed to be horror stories, bro. Like, what the fuck? Here we go. I started off my second cycle with 750 testy a week and 50 milligrams of Tren Ace every other day. I was running an Astrozole. Arimidex, if you guys don't know, and Kaber. I did not know what the fuck I was doing. I did one 500 milligram test E week with Arimidex cycle for about 12 weeks and then did PCT after. That cycle hit pretty good. I got big, but now thinking about it, I was super bloated, LOL. The next cycle was the trend cycle. I only ran it for about 10 weeks. I had trouble breathing. My anxiety was through the roof and I would sweat like a pig at night. I felt way stronger and was way hungrier. All I wanted to do was hit the gym fuck and be alone <laughs> that's like two two of the most counterproductive things to one another i would get activated over the dumbest shit uh that's funny i that's a funny way to say you get pissed off i get activated some dude would cut me off on the road and i'd follow them all the way home like it was about to whoop their ass or some shit i would feel nervous as fuck to talk to my own friends and my sleep i'm laughing because it's sort of it's, it's just what you'd expect from like the worst of a trend story. I would be nervous as fuck to talk to my own friends and my sleep was horrible. I always felt super fucking hot. That wasn't the bad part though. It was the after effects. I did PCT, but I just never felt the same. I felt tired all the time. My balls came back, but I just felt super tired and sad all the time. The worst part is my dick was not working properly. I couldn't get it up for or bust a nut to save my life. I would go weeks without smashing my girlfriend which later led to our breakup. Fuck, dude. This is something that goes overlooked a lot, is like what kind of implications what you're using can have on the sexual relationship you have with your significant other. I've seen some shit happen from gear, you know? Either 
something like this or some other stuff that is, you know, there's a bunch of different things that can happen, but like, you know, the trend making you paranoid, people who are, you know, ruining their sex drives, guys who are getting ED, um, lots of stuff, dude. And it can actually have a, like it's, it's stuff you don't think about at the time. And then, you know, the chick thinks it's her and there's like a problem or whatever. And it's, it, there's just a lot of shit that uh, you have to consider that mostly goes overlooked until you're actually in the shit and you realize like, damn dude like there's more than i was expecting and it's it's can be fucking dramatic like the actual impact it has on um relationship quality and stuff not just you know if you tweak on something or not and roid rage like actual impact on your you know physical functions and how it can imp impact others and how they you know perceive you know the health of your relationship and whatnot the dick probs lasted for four or five months and it was the scariest shit ever luckily that was the worst i got from it and it took about a year for me to come back to normal motivated and high sex drive probably one of the worst experiences in my life now i don't use any gear and i've built up a good amount of muscle on my own just with consistency and eating a bunch now looking back it was idiotic and a waste of my health lol i was only 23 to 24 at the time and i went from 140 to about 190 in two cycles i was strong but i looked more fat than anything I look way better now and I'm honestly thinking about taking 250 migs of test a week to get a little edge without aromatization. Let me know what you guys think. LOL. Wish I would have had more knowledge before. Who commented back? I would probably just hop on TRT early if I were you. Maybe do one last cycle of 250 migs test for 16 weeks or so to get a bit bigger before therapy than cruise for life. My guy. So I'm not going to give uh, my stance without more background information. To be honest, because it sounds like this guy is pretty, pretty young still. I don't really want to just haphazardly, you know, make a fucking blanket statement here. But this is a good example of why you need to plan your cycle well, especially when you are using a large amount of test with a progestogenic compound on top and an AI and an anti-prolactin drug. So it's like trying to predict how you're going to respond with all of these factors in when you have it's your second cycle like it's very very it would be unreasonable to expect somebody to even know what they're doing to be honest so it's like this is the kind of stuff you don't even it's too deep of waters to wade into when you are this inexperienced i don't i don't know what kind of uh analogy i'm trying to make here but basically like he says himself it was a dumb idea you know it was overkill blah 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 and you know even figuring out why some of this stuff happened like the dick problems lasting for months after and knowing how to interpret your blood work and how to assess what the fuck is going on if you're not able to figure it out before you go into the cycle like you think of worst case scenario and what how would you be able to deal with it should you come across a scenario like this like would you know what to get blood work wise to even look to see what's wrong like this is the kind of stuff you need to act this is an example of why you need to research first before you start injecting yourself with shit posted this on the other reacting to your worst cycle stories as well but just putting it here for content for Derek's next vid. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. In college, I tried an Anavar only cycle because I was afraid of needles. Add to the mix alcohol and other amenities with a wink. And a trash diet followed by bro workouts and no PCT. I completely shut myself down. Then I thought I might as well try something else because I was so depressed and completely shut down. Hopped on, tre hopped on Tren Ace 250 and Test E 500 because my fraternity brother said it would get me <laughs> back on track. Man, this is crazy. Like... I knew it was prevalent, but I didn't know like, ever, like, okay, I guess this is what I should expect. I would just hope more people would actually see like content online. Like don't these people think you're about to use a fucking cattle drug. Maybe let's watch like a few videos on the subject or at least dig into some of the, some of the research before we inject ourselves with this stuff. But no, the, you know, the bro, the frat bro is like, yo, this is the fucking sickest shit ever. Hopped on Tren Ace 250 and Test E 500 because my frat bro said it would get me on the right track. Was injecting every other day using massive needle gauges. 20 gauge. Literally putting holes in my ass cheek. <laughs> Fuck, dude. By the third week, I was losing my mind and paranoia set in. Needless to say, I had a rather painful shot on my glute. I can imagine. <laughs> Because it was the only place I could do it without having a full-blown panic attack. I freaked out because I felt a lump and extreme pain after injecting the Trenace. Didn't realize how bad my hand was shaking. I thought I had somehow injected oxygen into a vein in my ass and convinced myself I was going to die. Classic. 
sprinted out to my car, drove to ER, fully believing I was going to die right there. Couldn't call 911, didn't want parents to find out. Got to the ER, ran in like I had a gunshot wound, which you weren't far off. Okay, obviously, <laughs> this is a, uh, that's a stretch, but if you saw like an 18 to a 20 gauge, you'd be like, holy shit, dude, like, that's a fucking heater. Got to the ER, ran in like I had a gunshot wound, explained everything to the first doctor, and they laughed in my face after feeling around where I had been injecting. Long story short, don't do steroids, kids. Edit. Forgot to add I had gotten the needles from a local tractor supply store, <laughs> which I assumed they had there for horses, and I also had convinced myself that the needles were somehow dirty and I infected myself <laughs> on top of injecting air into the vid. Edit too. This was during the time when I had first discovered the forums as well as had my own P.O. box in college, was taking some Phentermine and Liquid Cialis every day to stay shredded and still get pumps in the gym. And if you don't know what Phentermine is, it's a very potent appetite suppressant, but it's like, it's like a really shitty stimulant, basically. Um, let's see. After the hospital visit, I stopped everything cold turkey. Dick stopped working for about a year and a half, probably, because I did zero PCT. It was taking letrozole, which crashed my estrogen, and was taking liquid Cialis every day because my test was zero from the Anivar only cycle. This all during my freshman year in college. Good times. Holy fuck. P.S. I have photos of how shit I looked on cycle during this time. I haven't touched a compound in two years and look infinitely better now, but still feel quite shit libido-wise. So that was a pretty good one. I also like the part where he was uh, at the, the local tractor supply store. I'm just imagining a guy getting like a Finiplex H fucking pellet gun and shooting himself <laughs> for his cycle. <laughs> I see it all too often here, even in my small town in Pennsylvania, guys joining the gym at 18 years old, but the first day in the gym, they want their first cycle and they don't want just test or D-ball. They ask for Trenbolone. But I first started working out in the gym. The first thing I thought about was buying protein and creatine. I try my best to guide these young kids and tell them that they need to build up a base and get their information and knowledge based down when it comes to nutrition. Now there's some guys I tell it gets six months of training now there's some guys i tell it get six months of training what am i reading because obviously they've trained all through high school you can tell and then the majority of guys i try to convince to train for a year solid preferably to if they're dead set on getting on i usually convince them by asking them what they'd rather put on 15 20 pounds of newbie gains naturally and then go on a cycle and get bigger from there or start gear right now and gain 25 to 35 pounds in 12 weeks but when you get off you'll lose it because you don't even have a base I'm glad I've trained for six years natural at my worst, at the divorce and all that bitch <laughs> and all the, I stopped working out for three years. I, I'm just assuming that's what I read. It took me one year just to hit 200 pounds. What's your muscle so long? It doesn't like to go away, but yeah, I got all the way down to 170 skinny, finally off my ass with just 250 milligrams of test. I went from 175 to 210 within five weeks with abs muscle memory is true lol who would have thought uh wasn't really a, a horror story but i guess uh basically moral of the story don't get on gear too early which you know i guess i can agree with that for sure well figure i figure i'd share my story to help people learn what not to do i'm 510 always skinny and lean a little backstory might help people understand why things went wrong so my dad was a professional bodybuilder in the 80s he ran a shit ton of gear started trt at 43 and never Really cycled off. I aspired to be as big as he was in his prime, 240 stage weight, without knowing the amount of steroids you shoot in your ass to be that big. The day came that I had been lifting consistently and training hard for four years. I was finding it very difficult to push past 190 pounds while shoveling food down my throat. So I did a first mini cycle months later at 20, basically just taking my dad's HRT that he reluctantly let me use for 12 weeks. Kind of a dick move, I realize now. Everything went good. Gained 15 pounds, kept eight. PCT went well. Major lifts felt awesome, and I gained a fair amount from them. Now the shit starts. Nearly one year later, I was in the position to be able to get gear. Not knowing fucking shit, I just asked my dad what I should get. So I ordered Deca and Sustanon. He told me to do 500 of each once a week for 16 weeks. Great. Okay, I started pinning. Things were going well. I started to feel like the Michelin man, but fairly lean. The night sweat started around the week four. They were so bad, I should have washed my, sh my sheets every day, but it turned into every other day. I had to change my underwear at 3 a.m. almost every night from the sheer volume of sweat. I just spit on my fucking computer. So basically fucking horrible. Massive mood swings started happening. Gyno starting to show its face. The training was phenomenal, but other than that, it was a shit show. My bench press increased 75 pounds, deadlift 100, same for squat. Week 14, I pin Sunday night, train, then sleep. I wake up and just don't feel right. My head hurts. My leg is throbbing. I managed to crawl out of bed 
with my massive inflamed leg and get ready for work. After pouring concrete for four hours and feeling like I'm going to pass out, I told my boss I'm leaving. I get home and check my temperature, 103.8. 103 Stupidly, I refuse to go to the hospital and just ask my girlfriend to come over and watch over me as I sleep, fearing I wouldn't wake up. I took the next four days off of work trying to recover. It took me close to a week to be able to walk without immense pain. I decided fuck that shit and started PCT. Mood swings were getting worse, obviously. I lost everything I gained, about 26 pounds and some. My libido was decimated for nearly an entire year. I still don't think it's the same three years later. Never went to get blood work done. I was afraid I'd lose my new job that required me to use my class A driver's license. I'm still not sure if I can te even tell a doctor without losing my license somehow. Do your research. Even if you think someone knows what they're talking about, a lot has changed since the 80s. That is a good, uh, that was a good detailed story. And that shows what can happen if you don't know what you're doing. And you go into something, uh, you know, haphazardly, you know, deck on, sustain on. At those high of a doses on your, you know, first real cycle, I guess. Um, or second one, not really knowing what the fuck's going on, not being willing to get blood work, not going to the hospital. Um, this is good advice that is, uh, you should definitely heed that uh, you don't want to end up in this position. So this is a good warning from this guy. You should do a worst algorithm story segment. I wonder, uh, I wonder if I went through some of just like the funniest algorithm comments, if that would be a good, <laughs> that would be a good video in itself. My worst cycle story, my very first year of lifting, I started the most ridiculous cycle. I won't act like I didn't get results, but the amount of bloat and sides was insane. My main compound, instead of being one that would allow my body to function smoothly and healthily, was a compound for pure protein expression. For that, I decided on <laughs> chicken. I also wanted to burn a ton of fat that didn't care if my organs took a beating. My fat agent was broccoli and it destroyed my digestive system. Thirdly, I wanted someone to <laughs> improve performance acutely in a proper cycle this compound wouldn't be a problem but since i was running chicken as a base something like potato or sweet <laughs> potato might have been a better choice instead i chose rice look like i said i definitely saw results and i was pretty lean but i couldn't gain weight eventually i learned the importance of having other meats and the downsides of broccoli if it's your first time do not run chicken broccoli and rice dude i'm spitting on my fucking screen like a maniac i would recommend something more like chicken beef mix with plenty of root tubers and fruits rice is great to fill in the gaps what does this guy say bro you're not supposed to stack chicken with broccoli how did this not get more likes? Like, I thought that was pretty funny. It just got buried somehow. Okay, so I think that's a good uh, spot to cut it off on. That was a uh, good, uh, I think I got most of them. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let me know if you want me to do more of these in the future. And if so, I guess the, uh, the comment section is open in this one. You know, if you uh, didn't give your input on the last one, you have a good story, you know, let me know. And maybe we can do a... Um, number uh what is this number four in the series so we could do a uh a fifth one and uh keep it going so let me know what you guys think comments down below thank you guys for watching like subscribe check out my blog more plates more dates.com follow me on instagram at more plates underscore more dates facebook snapchat bitch twitter tiktok apple Podcasts. if you want to support the channel you can check out anything i'm associated with in the video description below my trt clinic it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home my recommended lab tests and diagnostics through my clinic i have some pre-designed panels for a variety of situations, main ones being, uh, you know, health analysis and just uh, basic, you know, parameters for hematology, metabolic, um, hormones, etc. cetera. Um, so those are already pre-designed for you. And then I have some other, uh, you can actually add single markers to your panels now moving forward, which is a pretty cool feature that we're going to start integrating more and more. And hopefully we'll be, uh, we'll have our own like customized lab test design system at some point soon but for now the pre-designed tests are on there as well as the single markers that you can add on separately and hopefully we'll have that like uh, a fully functional interface that's easy to use for at making your own custom panels on the site but anything else i'm associated with it's in the video description below as well so thank you guys for watching talk to you soon